We'll continue adding animations to the system in this sixth part of the tutorial series for the MP system version 3. This time, we'll be adding new marketplace animations. This will be a simple tutorial and won't involve control rig or sequencer. Some animations are pretty much good to go. The excellent FPS starter pack by Bugramov also comes with animations and melee weapons. To show the scalability of the system, we'll be using the bat. I've already gone ahead and copied the files over to our add-ons folder and created a separate directory for it. Note, the provided file is a static mesh, but we need a skeletal mesh for the data table. To quickly generate one, simply export the static mesh and re-import it as a skeletal mesh. This process will also create a simple physics asset. The animations provided are based on the UE4 Vanilla Mannequin. This is great, because MPS basically uses the Vanilla Skeleton as well. The system also comes with a retargeter already set up. So simply select all the needed animations. Right-click, select Retarget Animation Assets, Duplicate and Retarget Animation Assets. Use MPS Retargeter. Select MPS Player as the target and SK Mannequin as the source. Optionally, add a prefix and choose the directory. Hit Retarget. As you can see, the retargeting worked pretty much flawlessly. Even the camera underscore FP bone maintained its position. Only the weapon bone floated away. Thankfully, this can easily be fixed inside the animation. To visualize things better, add a preview mesh to the weapon bone. Now move and rotate the weapon bone into position. Once you're happy with the transforms, click on key in the top toolbar. This creates an additive layer track, which maintains the weapon bone's position throughout the entire animation. This process needs to be repeated for each animation. Thankfully, we can copy the weapon bone track to the other animations. So open a new animation and with the weapon bone selected, click key to add a new track. Paste the copied coordinates into the track. Repeat that for all the animations. Optionally, you can also rename the animations to make more sense of them. Next, copy the knife blueprint and rename it to BP underscore bat. Make sure to assign the same name inside the blueprint as well. Also copy over the blend space locomotion of the knife to the bat's directory. Replace the knife animations with the bat animations. Open the block animation and change its additive type to local space and its base pose type to selected animation frame based on the bat idle animation. Create animation montages for the attack, draw, and holster animations. Reference the notifies of the knife montages and paste them into the new montages as shown. Drawing and holstering determine at what point in time the mesh gets attached slash detached to the weapon bone. The active notify determines the duration at which line traces are being cast to generate hit events.
As before, create new DT underscore weapon and DT underscore anims entries. Duplicate the knife entry and replace the mesh and animations. Lastly, open the weapon layer widget and add the bat blueprint to the weapons array to activate the bat in the loadout menu. When you jump in game now, you would likely see broken animations. To fix this, simply export the animations and re-import them with new source. Now everything is working. As you can see, the mesh gets attached too late to the weapon bone during the draw animation. Just move the drawing notify more towards the beginning of the animation to attach it earlier. Now, open the skeleton of MPS player and add a new socket to the spine underscore zero three bone. Again, add a preview mesh and move the socket into the desired position. Next, go to the enums folder and open the holster slots enum. Add a new enumerator with the name holster underscore 08. Lastly, open the weapon data table and select the new holster slot for the bat. To finish the melee weapon, we need to ensure that the line trace is at least the length of the weapon. This is calculated by the distance between two sockets. Copy or create the socket's muzzle and center. The center socket should be at the base of the weapon, while the muzzle socket should be at the tip or even a bit above. This will ensure that the melee weapon has the desired range. Thank you for watching. In the next and last animation tutorial, we'll add quality marketplace animations to the system. Since the skeletons won't be compatible, we'll need to make use of control rig and sequencer again.